Hello there, my name's Cool Your Stuff, and sorry for my raspy voice, I just woke up, but I felt like not a lot of people knew how to do this. If you're just new to Blender and you're modeling, like, something with shiny plastic, for like, or metal or something, something shiny for a material. Well, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Five Nights at Freddy's 2-ish material. So first, let's go into compositing. Click on this little box here and click use nodes. And click on this little circle because that's um, the node that displays materials. And click new since I don't have a material yet. And once you do, you'll have a material output and it diffuse as default. So <clears throat> even if you don't have a material, all of the objects are already set on diffuse. And we don't want that. So what we're going to do, we're going to move this just by dragging it. <coughs> oh god, my voice. And add a mix shader. Just put by pressing shift A. And you could just search it up because I'm too lazy to scroll through the list. And add a... Um, I'll, I'll show you where you can find it. Shader. Glossy. That's how you can find a glossy shader. Now if you go in... You can see it's like semi glossy and semi not glossy, but it's not like the gloss is not hard enough. So, what we're going to want to do is like turn the factor down and turn the roughness of the glossiness down, and now it should look a lot more like, um, like sort of like a wettish material, but it's still n not really what we want. But before we add a specular map, um, just any color to add in, um, but, like, this animatronic is going to be, like, orange, so I'll do that. Now we have, like, an orange material. It's still, like, too perfect, though. I'll maybe turn <clears throat> down the glossiness. I don't know if that will really matter once we do this. So add in a, um, color ramp. And connect the color to this of the roughness of the glossiness. As you can see, our glossiness is pretty much gone now. So what we're going to want to do is add our specular map. So shift A, texture. And then image textures. Oh, wait, no, that was sky texture. I'm sorry for noises in the background. I'll just do that and hook up the color to the factor. And we got some of our glossiness back because we don't have an image texture. So, um, just click on, you're on default on right here, but if you click on this, you can actually see your pictures. Um, I have mine in robot arm, and, no wait, they're in cave textures. And, you see, get something like this, like something with spots. Um, I don't know how, like, I can give you this image. Maybe if you give me your email address in the comments or something, I'll just send you the picture. But get something with, like, spots, and that's black and white. So we still have nothing because we didn't, um, UV project it. Okay, so the black spots are where it's glossy, and the white spots is where it has zero glossiness. So if you pull this down, as you can see, it's less glossy because this this black here is the maximum glossiness. So if you turn the white up, oh wait, no, that did not work. Okay, if I put them closer together. Then, oh well. Oh, okay, never mind then. Just turn that down. So, if you turn this... Okay, that's too glossy. Never mind. This is the maximum glossiness. So, just turn that to where um, you like. So, you can see it has, like, smudges and stuff on it. That's what we want. We want, like, realism. It can't just be perfectly shiny. So, there. It looks pretty realistic. But, you want to add, like, scratch marks. So, um, here I don't need any, um, uh, wait, what was it called again? 
Okay, yeah, normal maps. I won't need any of that because I'm going to be using a black and white image, and that's what the displacement thinks in. So I'll just um, find that folder. Um, I think that was another one. I got these off Blender um, Guru, <coughs> so you can get those there. And here, it, it's like a scratch texture. It's tiled, so it won't matter how big my UV projection is. It won't, like, show any seams. So just add that up there. And you can see we have scratches, but it's way too scratchy. What I like to do is put in a gamma node. And, oh, wait a minute. It's usually used for, like, color. So if you put this here, and you turn the gamma up and down you'll have lots of... oh wait, um, I don't know why that's not changing, it usually does. No, just... So this should control how much um, scratches we have. I usually set it to 0 0.01. Okay, there, that's pretty good. It's still like... Hmm. Okay, we have scratches. They're about as like visible as we need them, but they're too big. We need them to be like smaller. So just add in a um, vector and mapping, and this should change the size of the UV projection for only this um, texture. So just turn maybe to three, and oh, that's my little brother. Hmm. Okay, they're a little smaller. Still too big for my liking. If if this is like good enough for you, like you want like visible scratches, you could just keep this, but I'm just gonna change it because this is a, um supposed to be new and shiny. And it's not working. Maybe if we just turn our Okay there. That would definitely change it, but hmm. Oh, maybe because it's a tiled image. Yeah, that's probably why. Oh well, I'll just keep it like that. That's pretty good anyway. There we go. Okay, so that looks pretty good actually. So I'll just add that to the bottom jaw too. And here's a cool trick that I didn't learn <coughs> actually for a while of using Blender. And it was horrible. I thought when I just wanted like the same material, but I just wanted like a little change, like maybe to be a lot lighter or a little lighter. You can just like here. I want the snout to be lighter. I'll just add the material, but check this little plus, and now it's a copy of that material. So wait, let me um, maybe project this now. Okay, so if I go to this color, it won't affect everything else because this is a different texture, I mean, material. So I'll just bring this up. I'm there. Now I have like a lighter, and I'll just save right now. So now I have a lighter color for the snow. So I'll just, you know, oh, oh god, so many noises. Just pretend like you can't hear them, please. Okay, so um, now we'll just select the faces where I want the lighter material. The less perfect it is, I guess, the more realistic it is. So, yeah. See you later, I guess.